click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll look at a board view which is slightly different from all the others. The form view. Why do I say it's different? Well, all the other board views allow us to present information that exists in our boards already. But the form view is actually used to capture new data into our board. Let's open our trusty bookings board and have a look. Until now, we've captured new booking inquiries into the Monday board directly. But this will obviously not be the process in real life. Ideally, you'll have a website for the guest house, and on the website you'll have a booking inquiry form. The forms view in Monday allows us to automatically generate a form based on the structure of our Monday board. Then we can share that form anywhere online, including on your website. And when somebody submits data into the form, it is immediately added into the board. Let's create a form for our bookings. I select Add View and then pick the form view. Notice that I immediately get a form and it already contains all the fields from our board. This was all done automatically for us. Now, of course, our guest should supply most of the data that the form requires, but not everything. For example, the status column is for internal use, so we'll want to hide that from users of the form. This is a simple process. Simply click on the field you want to hide. Once it's clicked, a few new menu items will appear. On the bottom right, you'll see an option to hide the question. Additionally, you will note that the questions are simply built from the column headings in the board. Sometimes this isn't appropriate, so you can adjust those as needed. Let's adjust the name question. Once again, this is straightforward. Click on the field and type your desired question. Also, don't worry about the length of the question because what you make it here does not change the column heading in the board. So you can write a full description of the question. Notice also that you can add a more lengthy description underneath the question itself if that was really required. We won't need an extra description here. However, it might be valuable to add an extra description under booking period. Also, you might want to mark some questions as mandatory. Since we are on booking period, that probably is a mandatory question. The other question I'd like to mark as mandatory is the guest's email address. So to make a field mandatory, you simply click on the required tick box. For styling, you can add your logo to the form. Since this is a default account that we're using at the moment, it simply pulls through the Monday logo. But you can, of course, adjust that in the admin settings. You can also change the background color. Let's pick something orange, bright and orange. And you can add a description to the form. There is a new feature in the Monday form builder, and that's the ability to add additional questions directly in the form. So all you need to do is click on add new question, and then you select the type of question and proceed from there. This will create a new column in your board. Now, I don't typically use that ability, but perhaps it makes sense for you. Lastly, let me show you what settings we have available for the form. As always, settings are activated by clicking on the little gear. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll show a couple of important ones. The first one, and probably the most important, is this group for answers drop down. Here you specify the group in the board where new submissions for this form will land. In our case, the most appropriate group would be inquiries. This means that whenever a form is submitted, a new item will be created in the inquiries group. You can also change the heading as well as the message that appears in the success screen after the submission has been completed. Let me adjust this slightly. If you need to redirect to a custom link after the submission, you can specify that here as well. And the other settings are fairly self-explanatory, so I won't go through them now. Great stuff. So now we have a form. Let's see how it can be used. To preview the form, you can simply click on the preview button. This should open a new browser tab with just the form itself. Once you're happy with the form, you can share it in two ways. 
both ways, start by clicking on the share form button. The first is just a plain URL link, which can be used anywhere. For example, you can include this in an email. The second is a small HTML snippet that uses an iframe tag for you to embed the form inside another website. For our purposes, we'll just grab the URL for now. And to show that it works, I will open up a new browser window and paste the URL into the address bar. Let me fill it in quickly and submit it. I'll fast forward through the typing part. Oops, as I'm passing through this, I realize we should have hidden the booking platform as well. Notice that after I click submit, the configured message is provided. And now the inquiry should exist in our board. Let's go and have a look. Here's the inquiry group. And there is our booking by Greg Fullard with all of his details as he captured it already. Notice that because we didn't include the status field in the form, the status column is currently empty. But don't worry, in section eight of the course, we'll add an automation to fix that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.